All right, what's good? So a bunch of you guys have been asking about my settings in the last controller camp video, which is almost at, a, no, not a thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand views, dude. It's at 9.7. I had just checked right before I started recording. It's at 9.7K, which is actually insane because most of my videos get like 30 max views, which I really appreciate it. I'm just going to go through all my settings really quick. Let's start off with the, with the camera settings. So, of course, camera shake off. If you're playing with the camera shake, uh, it's a lot better to have this off. Trust me, it helps out a lot. My field of view is at 110 with my camera distance at 240. Uh, I like having it at 240 because it's a lot closer to my car and I can see my car better whenever I dribble the ball so I have more control of the car along with the ball with my height at 100 my angle at negative 5 my stiffness at 0.6 my swivel speed at 10 and my transition speed at 1.4 which swivel speed is whenever you look like to the sides and stuff all right so as you can see this is this is what I mean so whenever I look over, I like having it at 10. So if I need to like, if I'm, let's say I'm dribbling the ball and then I miss and I'm going back. So if I have my ball cam on and the ball's going this way and, I, and I'm turning this way, I can't see where my teammate is. Cause my teammate is in front of me. And yes, I can easily turn this off, but instead of going through the trouble of turning it off and turning it back on, I just glance like that and see where he is, see how far he is to see if I have to turn again. I just like checking really quick just to make sure where he's at and just visualizing and knowing where all your teammates are can help out a lot, especially when passing, especially with passing, especially whenever you don't have to look and think about like too much. So like, let's say I'm dribbling like this and I know my teammates to my left, I can just quickly pass it over there. And he might be ready for it, he might not be, but it's really good to pass, especially in this game. So yeah, those are my camera settings. Let's, so my controls. So my steering sensitivity is at 1.6. Basically it's just how sensitive your stick is when you're gonna steer. It doesn't make you faster at steering, it's just the further you have to move your analog so you can steer. Um, with my area one, I have it at 1.3. My controller dead zone is at 0.10. My dodge dead zone is at 0.7. The reason why it's so high, so let's say I have to go for an area, right? So whenever you go for an area, you jump and you look up, especially when you're going for fast areas, you have to jump and then you have to jump again. So if you, have your dead zone really really like minimal if I like barely move it like this and it still like flips then when I try to go for it I'm gonna end up back flipping which is not good because you're, you're sitting there playing really fast and then you go up and then you accidentally backflip you see how far I have to pull mine down if I go for a fast aerial and like I have my analog pulled down like barely a little bit then I'm not gonna backflip I have my dead zone really high the more I have to pull down to be able to flip which is you see how far I have to push it up look if I have it just a little bit See how it doesn't flip? Look, I don't know if you can tell. Look, I'm pushing up a little bit. Let's see how far. Let's see. Maybe I'll push it this high. No, it still doesn't go. It still doesn't go. There we go. So yeah, that's why I have that so high when it comes to fast railing. That can help out a lot. My interface, I have my scale at 90. I feel like 100 is a bit too much. The name plate scale is at 150 which is a little bit bigger than default and the nameplate thing is at default because if you have it at nearby only you can only see them of course when they're nearby if you have it at simplified i mean it's just it's just like a little diamond which is on top of their heads like your teammate and the enemy team so if you have it on default you can see it regardless like they can be across the map like I can be over here and they can be on the other side of the map and I can still see their name which is always good so you always know where everyone's at and my video settings I have weather effects light staff and lens blurs off because it's just it's just so nothing really gets in my way it's just all up to you to be honest with this all these settings are up to you you don't have to copy these settings but I just like having the weather effects off and all the rain and all that stuff off because it's very distracting especially when you're trying to go up the ranks it can help you with focusing more on hitting the ball along with playing better and my audio settings this doesn't really matter and yeah so yeah those are all my settings i'm gonna play two games hopefully this intro wasn't too long but we're gonna get into two games and if, as you guys can see my rank is diamond two i don't know in the last video i was champ one probably like division three or something i played my 10 ranked matches and I lost six. I just wasn't playing good. Oh, also a lot of people asked 
if I use uh, here, I forgot to show my binds. So the only thing I have moved here is uh, I have arrow left on R1. And I have reset shot on R3, which is this one, right? Yeah, it is this one. But I have this to reset my shot because if you have that default, this button resets. And if I'm going to be using arrow, I don't want the fucking bots reset every single time I'm in training. The only reason why I have that on is because I stall. That's the only reason why. If you guys see, most of the time, I never even touch this button. Not even for drifting or anything. I don't have it for drifting. I have square. I uh, I forgot what it was called. I think it's called fat thumb or something. So my thumb touches this, which is to air roll, along with boost. As you can see, and then not only that, this, this, when I do that, I can jump. So if I'm boosting, I can, I use this to jump and flip and all that stuff. So basically that's how I play. And then of course, if I need to switch between ball cam, I have it up here. So I play really weird, but having a roll on this button up here is actually not bad. I just didn't no it would be better since so, i started playing this game around three or four years ago and i always used uh square so i'm just used to it and i've i've tried to switch over to uh, uh what do you call it i've tried to switch over to these bumpers for drift and for air rolling but i just can't i i, I tr i've tried but I, I cannot i'm so used to doing this it's good to change to these two maybe this one or this one or maybe just have air roll on this one i just got used to this and i i couldn't switch over to this anyway okay enough talking we're gonna get into two games real quick yeah let's see what happens all right we're about to get into this first game again my rank is diamond two okay we have chiefs in our team oh all right bet so uh okay i missed that team is gonna be there I see he missed that. I'm just gonna try to clear it so he gets back, gets a boost and stuff. What is my card doing, man? Oh, he has that. What the hell? That was a really bad shot, to be honest. Oh. Go on, teammate. Go on, teammate. Oh, he tried passing it. I'm not even... Hold on, I'm gonna try to... Ah, uh, I was gonna try to hit it to the wall and try to do something cool for the video. I probably shouldn't. I should just focus on trying to win. I'm gonna buy some time so he gets back. Okay, I lost that. But now he's back. Oh, no! Teammate! Ah, oh. I, I thought he had that, dude. He has that. He's gonna take it. I don't think he has boost though. I don't think he grabbed any boost. Sitting shot maybe? Ah, that was close. Let's try to get it under him. He's taking his time. Oh. Nope. Okay, look. He wasted all his boosts and he's all the way into there. Oh shit, I got bumped. I got bumped, bro. No way, man. My bad, bro. That was my fault. I got bumped, man. I got bumped, bro. Why are you saying oh my god for? Try to see shot this. For the video. Oh, that's too low. <gasps> oh, I almost had that. Holy crap. Oh, that would have been nuts. Timmy has that easily. Okay, okay. Keep the pressure on him. If he doesn't get there, it's alright. He's gonna cross it back in. Oh, he missed. Oh, Jesus, we both fucking missed. My boost. So that means I gotta turn. No, man, go for boost. I, I'm just gonna let him. He knows what he's doing. Oh, that was close. Oh, that's in. As you can see, I'm using square. I never really use this. So yeah, see how fast my thing is? Hopefully these settings help out. Just know that you don't 
have to copy all these settings. Just try to get whatever is comfortable for you. And I know a lot of people who... Hold on, give me a second. Oh, that was really bad bounce. A lot of people who make settings videos and all that stuff. Alright, nice shot. I always say the same thing. And it's just, it's just true. It's just preference. I've tried many settings before. Many pro settings. And then I just tweaked them to my own. Which actually helped out a lot. But there's people who like having their camera at... You see, mine is at... My camera distance is at 240. Some people like having it at like 270. Just further away, so just so they can see the map more, so they can see where everyone's at more. But, I just like seeing my car. It makes me feel like I have more control of it, and I have more control of the ball as well whenever I'm dribbling or anything like that. Also, whenever you dribble... That was a good pass. Nice, dude. Whenever you dribble, it's always good to turn off wall cam, because... Uh, here, I'll try to demonstrate why. Let me try to get a dribble. But yeah, it's just... The camera just goes crazy, and it just trips out, and it's just... It's just not it's just not a good experience, to be honest. Oh, I missed that so bad, man. Come on, teammate. Ah, oh, bro, I literally touched that. Easy win, watch this. Alright, he has it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to demonstrate it. I think I should demonstrate after we kind of... Oh, I got this. No, man. I had that in the bag and I just fumbled it. Teammate! Alright, we're good. Also, when you go for boost, it's good to turn off your ball cam. Oh, what the hell? See, right there, I use air roll because I'm just messing around. It's good to uh, turn off your ball cam just for a split second. Just to make sure, like, like, see right here, like, I'm already know I'm gonna go to it, so I turned off my ball cam. It's just good to, like, just align yourself with it, and then switch back, uh, back to, uh, ball cam, just so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna leave that for him. Oh, sorry, dude, I didn't know you were there. I could've scored that, I'm gonna pass it back. There you go. Ah, uh, he's not gonna be able to score there, is he? That was close. But yeah, if you guys need any other tips or anything, especially a lot of the new players, because I know there's a lot of new people playing Rocket League ever since it came out uh, free to play. There's been a lot of people, a lot of new people coming, so everyone's just trying to learn the game. And I completely understand, so. You guys can always leave comments below. I try to answer to all of them. Maybe it takes me a while to answer to some, but I always try to answer to all of them and I always like them. I always try to heart them. So it's just, just so you know that I actually saw your comment and I appreciate all the feedback. Oh, I messed that up so bad, man. I didn't mean to flip backwards. But yeah, yeah. If you guys need any other tips, you guys just always let me know. That was all my fault, man. I was trying to just flip forward so I can hit it and I accidentally backflip. I don't know. Oh, I'm just gonna score this. Ah, oh, never mind. I think we're good, I think we're good. Let me try to score this. No, he blocked it. Alright, that's the first game done. We secured the dub. Well played, teammate. You kind of did a lot better than me. But, oh, come on, man. He said what a save. But, anyway, that's the first game done. We won up a division, which is good. And, yeah, we're just going to search for the next game. So, we're about to get here into the second game. Who's my teammate? How do you say... I'm going to call him 22 because I do not know how to say this man's name. Alright, so he got that first hit off. He's gonna hit it again. Try to score. He's gonna try to score, yeah. Sorry, Timmy. Sorry, 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 sorry. I think he's gonna go for that. Oh! Nice save. Holy crap. Oh, I was trying to get the 50. Try to bump him out the way. Nice, teammate. 
So that guy in front of me had a chance to uh, kind of jump towards the ball and clear it. So I tried to bump him out the way and push him, which kind of threw him off because he probably because he didn't expect that, which helped out a lot. But yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can learn to do better, like kickoffs. Uh, this right here, half flipping, which can help out a lot, as you can see. Uh, it's very simple. Just if you guys need anything, you guys can always just let me know. Let me try to double touch this. That's not happening. Oh, I went straight to the teammate. Oh no! He's got that. He has that. Yo, I shouldn't have gone for boost. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for boost. That's my fault. It's like. Let's try to score something cool. No, I ran out of boost. <laughs> I gotta go back. I gotta go back. He's gonna go for it. I can already tell he's going for it. Try to get behind them for support. I missed. He has that though. Okay, see, he lost it, but I'm right here. It's good to learn rotations too. Oh, I just hit it to him. I shouldn't have hit that to him. Just gave away possession. But yeah, man, this game's very difficult to learn. Oh, we both got blown up. I didn't realize. The game's very difficult to learn. And it's just, the good thing about this game is just that there's no, like, peak of being the best, I guess. Because there's always improvement. There's always new things that people are discovering, like mechanics. And it's just, it's just crazy. This game is just, I, I don't even know, man. It's very, very fun, especially whenever you play with friends. Oh my gosh, I got that ball. Yo, I got that over both of them, dude. But, yeah, this, this game's just, it's just so much you can do on this game. There's a lot of train packs that people make. So if you guys ever want to, uh, what do you call it? Improve your. Let me try to score this. Never mind. Jesus, man. I'm gonna try to pass it over. Nope. 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 I'm just gonna stop playing, man. Alright. Should go for this. I'm trying to leave it off for him. I. He did not expect that. I shouldn't even have done that. I should just hit it forward. My nose is itchy. Let me clear it before I scratch my nose. Easy. Easy claps. Damn! He dunked the both of them. Bro, my teammates are carrying me. Oh, he said what a save, man. God damn. But yeah, oh, also, I'm gonna, be so, I'm gonna start uh, leaving all my settings in the description. Because, just in case anyone doesn't wanna look for this video or anything, you can always check the description. I will have my camera settings along with my dead zone and all that stuff. I'll write all of it down there. And I'll have that on every single one of my videos along with all the Call of Duty ones. Just to have both uh, games under there. Yo, these teammates are cracked, bro. But yeah, I'll have my Call of Duty settings and my... Well, there you go. That's the, that's the dub. And my Rocket League settings in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I mean, these teammates are just crazy, man. I got some good passings in. I got some other passing in. I didn't really score much. But yeah, man. This is damn. These dudes are can carry the shit out of me. Holy crap.